So it's kind of interesting how some of these, um, you know, 30s and 40 year olds uh, are using their wealth, if you will, to make sure that it's passed on generationally, but more importantly, how to conserve their wealth by using uh, leverage, a leverage life strategy. Hey, this is Dan, I'm down here at a conference in Cabo San Lucas. And uh, yesterday I heard this term that I wasn't familiar with. It's an acronym and it's HENRY, H-E-N-R-Y. And it, uh, the acronym is High Earners Not Rich Yet. And this is typically late 20s, 30s, maybe early 40s. Uh, people who are very entrepreneurial, they're uh, high income earners, and they're looking to build their wealth. But what I found really interesting is how so many of them are using uh, cash value life insurance as their basic foundation. And then they're doing exactly what we teach. They're leveraging it into their businesses, into business expenses, into other um, cash flow type investments. And so I've got to thinking, you know, these, these Henry's, if you will, um, are kind of leading the way on how to build uh, generational wealth, not only for themselves while they're living, but then how to easily pass that on to generation after generation. So it's kind of interesting how some of these, um, you know, 30s and 40 year olds uh, are using their wealth, if you will, to make sure that it's passed on generationally, but more importantly, how to conserve their wealth by using uh, lever a leverage life strategy. They're going to be saving on taxes, create more cash flow, and keep their money safe at the same time. And then they're kind of building for two lives. You know, obviously they hope they're going to live a long life and they're going to need plenty of income to sustain them. That's a great use of leverage life. But then the second life, hopefully that doesn't occur, but might tragically happen. And that is where they leave life a little too soon and exit the planet unexpectedly. But now an instant legacy is created for their family and that can be passed on generationally. So Henry, high earners, not rich yet. I thought that was a pretty cool term and wanted to share that with you. So I just got through talking to another advisor out of Texas and asked him what some of his clients' greatest concerns are. And one of the things he said that he's dealing with quite a bit because he's working with people who are 50, 55 and older, and that is how to generate lifetime income and not have to worry about it. Now in the past, so many advisors would use an annuity of some sort uh, to do this. And that's okay, nothing wrong with that. The only problem with an annuity is once you lock in that income, there's no changing it. And there's no liquidity, so you can't access those funds if another opportunity come along. So what was really interesting is talking to him about how to leverage life insurance. You'd actually get a greater income stream it would be tax-free, whereas an annuity, you still are gonna be paying taxes on your earnings over the years. Um, it's liquid, so you could still access it. So if something came along and you needed some funds, maybe for an opportunity or emergency, you could still access those funds. At the end of the day, in an annuity, when you die, your beneficiaries get what you didn't use, your balance. With a life insurance policy, you get this huge tax-free death benefit. So he had never thought about or never saw how you can leverage life insurance to get into those higher rates of return and the higher income streams and obviously still have the legacy and the death benefit as well. So it's been fun talking to these guys who've been in business 15, 20, 30 years and they haven't stumbled across how to wisely use leverage life as a strategy to generate more wealth, create more income, and have a tax-free income stream so you're reducing and eliminating your taxes as well. And then being able to leave a legacy for the family at the same time. So it's been fun talking to these guys and it seems like everybody has the same issues. Build wealth, generate income, save on taxes and uh, there's ways to do it much more strategic than your typical or traditional financial advisor might be showing you.
Look forward to talking to you if some of these things are your concern. Take care.